Hello, it's Telmage and I'm playing Isle 2 Sermavik again. Um, for those who want to watch more Silent Hunter 3 videos, don't worry, they are on the way. I just need to find time to uh, record them and edit them and all that kind of uh, good stuff. But uh, for the moment, because these are quick and easy, I'm going to do some more um, Isle 2 videos. So here we go. Um, now we have moved. We used to be down here and now we're up here. So let's read the briefing and see why that may be. A fresh start. 19th of April, 1945. American bombers are becoming increasingly accurate. We are suffering horrific losses in manpower and equipment at all Kyushu airfields. The survival of our entire air force, navy and army is now uncertain. We had many vital tasks and were failing virtually each one of them. There was the enemy fleet at Okinawa, B-29 bombers roaming all over Japan, and there were rumours of an impending amphibious landing on Kyushu itself. Some hard decisions had to be made to safeguard our resources. As soon as we landed, the fuel tanks of our planes were emptied and the planes were pushed away from the airstrip and masked a few kilometres away. This meant that we could no longer be scrambled at a moment's notice, but at least this kept our aircraft away from low-flying attack aircraft that seemed to be constantly overhead. Our production numbers were uh, kept waning, and each um, airworthy aircraft was worth its weight in gold. Mission briefing. Significant changes happened in my own life as well. My victories did not go unnoticed, and I was invited to join the elite 344 Kokutai at uh, Fukuoka. The air group was equipped with the brand new Shiding K fighters, heavily armed, maneuverable, and very fast. This was our answer to the P-51, and what an answer it was. On the 19th of April, my section was lined up on the runway, and we jumped into our cockpits. My first mission in a new plane was of incredible importance. Several admirals from the IGN general staff were, expecting, were inspecting the airfield, and we had to protect the airspace over their heads, the unfamiliar cockpit, different shape of the seat on my back, and the flight stick of a new shape in my fist. All that awakened the long-forgotten fan blades of fear in my stomach. Okay, so we have a new plane. Um, and we have to defend the airfield. Let's take a look at this plane, which I'm completely um, unfamiliar with. Um, but according to the briefing, it should be fairly fast and manoeuvrable, which is good news. Um, and here it is. Looks okay, I guess. Um, let's see, I've got any nice skins here. Uh, one of these prototype, and that's not a good idea. I think I like the default one. It has a pleasing shade of uh, kind of bluey green to it. Yeah, I prefer the default. Let's go with that. Uh, fuel quantity we can turn down to 50. And uh, yeah, so we're just basically protecting the airfield we're taking off from, as far as I can tell. Um, so I'll click fly and I'll see you in my brand new plane. All right. Here we are. Uh, looks okay, I guess. There's some pleasing green panels over here and over here. So it's an all just black and grey, which is good. No idea what any of these dials mean. Well, I can guess some of them. Um, yes, so. Bring up the map. So we're going to be flying around like this in a big old circle and looking out for bombers, I suppose. Maybe fighter bombers or maybe bomber fighters. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. No idea what the, um, the armament consists of. I guess there are maybe some cannons. You'd expect cannons on a late war aircraft. Um, but anyway, let's take off. Let's take a look at it from the outside while trying to make sure I'm not going off the runway. And. We are away. Okay, roll weight feels pretty good. 
Um, trouble is, I won't really get a chance to test out the maneuverability of this plane until I get into combat. So I'll be learning that on the fly, so to speak. And didn't give us any, well, it might have given us uh, an altitude, but I didn't notice. So I'll go for like maybe 2,000 meters. Um, yeah, so might be a while until enemies show up, so I'll uh, skip ahead and see you shortly. Oh god, P-51s. Uh, wingman, cover me. Okay. Everybody else, attack the fighters. Okay. Now, I guess some of these are going to be ground attack, and some are going to be um, the escorts. Oh god! Right. Let's. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's see what we can do here. I guess ideally we need to get the bombers or the ones who are carrying rockets or whatever they might be carrying. Where's the airfield? It's back over this way. Um, I don't see any. They look like they're going towards the airfield. Whoa. Um, engine's overheating. Work out. I'm sure I saw a couple diving towards the ground rather than going up with us. But right now I can only see these two. That feels over to my right here. I don't see any red uh, tags unless they're behind that cloud. Okay, well, I'll go back after these guys. Although I've now lost them. Oh, there we go. I can't believe there's only two B-51s. I'm sure I saw more than two. But I could be wrong. Okay, so it looks like the P-51s are fleeing from my comrades. They're scared. They don't know what this plane is. I need to gain some altitude here because I've lost quite a bit on my wild goose chase over the airfield. moment this is kind of a Benny Hill sequence you've got going here. We're just chasing these two P-51s. Still uh, looking around but I can't see anything. Oh, have you got one? Uh, that was a message from a number seven, so maybe not somebody in my group. Yeah, it all seems perfectly fine. Is this the correct airfield? I think it is. 
there's no other airfields around. So it's definitely this one we're supposed to be protecting. But it sounds like there's another group of uh, fighters out somewhere shooting down American planes. And now my engine's overheating again. I'm not going to be able to catch this. Um, I don't quite know what I'm supposed to do in this situation. Maybe we should tell my squadron to rejoin. Because chasing those planes is um, not exactly helping. Um, it does mean that they're free now to turn around and come back at us, so we need to keep our eyes on that. Where are we? We need to head back towards the airfield, I think. We're pretty high now. Does this have a supercharger? Yes, it does. Don't forget to use the supercharger. Well, uh, not a whole lot of action so far, I'm afraid. Um, what has happened is I spotted some enemies and then got shot a bit by them. And then they ran away. Powered the Americans. I thought they were desperate for kills. Apparently not. Alright, well... Um, let me just see here. Okay, we've got some Catalinas. P-51s. There's one of my colleagues who are attacking these P-51s, but that's not someone from my squadron. And someone parachuting to the ground. Well, I guess what I'll do is fly around a bit, skip ahead, and then... Uh, Come back if any more enemies show up. So, um, see you in a bit. Okay, um, I've just realised something. My wingman has not rejoined. This is my wingman now. I believe. And uh, when I ordered the other, or ordered the um, Chutai to rejoin, my belief is that order only applied to these two individuals. My wingman was still operating under the order to cover me, and was doing that by attacking those two B-51s, um, which he continued to do, and is now paying the price for that decision. I have told him to rejoin, so he's heading back. I don't know if he's still being attacked. Maybe I should kind of know where that is, I think. That's over there somewhere. He's heading back to this island, or this uh, peninsula. So maybe I should head back and see if I can help. Since it was kind of my mistake, I thought that the um, the Chutai order would apply to everybody in my current squadron, but apparently it does not override the wingman command. At least that's my theory. No, it's still, it seems to be fine. The P-51 has vanished. He has got some damage there. I think I'm going to tell him to land. Uh, oh, I can't. Well, no, I can't. I can only send him to rejoin, break, or attack things. Okay.
Well, nothing much seems to be happening. I don't know where these P51s are. Nowhere near me. Where's that? That's where I am. That's the uh, peninsula. And he's right above it. So he should be right above me, but I don't see anything. Am I blind? There's another two. Aha, there. I see you. I see you. Okay. Uh, attack fighters. Okay. Let's enable water methanol injection. Come on, that's what we want to see. He's coming down to dive with us. And where'd he go? There. Jesus Christ, why are they? There's only one of him. And he's got on your tail. Now oh, he's going to have a lot more energy than us because he's come from a higher altitude. So, this could be tricky getting a. Uh, what the hell? Is that. No, that wasn't my two. Good. Oh, okay, I didn't notice that guy. Engine's overheating now. So it looks like they're both back. I need to get my wingman to attack fighters as well, if he can. He's not saying anything. Is he just had the heart attack or what? Who's that? I don't know who that is. Uh, I'm confused, I'm confused. Well, my wingman is not responding to commands. I think his engine might have died, so that could be why. Okay, so now there's just three of us. Three versus two. And this one is coming in towards me. Be tricky. No, I'm not going to uh, make it in time. Where's his friend? Don't know. Behind me. Come on, come on. Yes, we've got cannons, so we solved that mystery. Uh, but he's a little bit too far away now. And he's gaining speed. And we are not, and now my engine is overheating. Damn it. This is what happens when your enemy has more energy than you, they can just, or more altitude, they can just dive and then zoom away. Maybe the P-51 is actually faster than this plane as well, that could be a possibility. And now I've got this guy, I need help. I don't know if he's going to attack though. He might just be covering his friend. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be diving on me. This guy's making a turn. And it looks like he is diving on me. Oh no, oh, he's heading away still. This is just uh, crappy AI behaviour, I'm afraid. No reason why this plane shouldn't dive on me right now and blow me out of the sky, but no. He just wants to follow his uh, teammate. If I can get some shots off on him. Da, da, 
da, da, da, da, da. It's too far away again. Maybe if I shoot a bit, it'll unnerve them and they'll make a mistake. Probably not. That's a kilometre away. And I'm overheating again. Okay, what's he doing now? Don't know where my friends have gone, by the way. What's, what are they doing? Well, okay, I wouldn't uh, complain. Let's try and gauge the uh, how much to lead. Oh, got a hit there. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, this is kind of silly. He's just kind of flying straight and level with plane taking pot shots right behind him. I need to get closer. I think I might need to... Yes, I know my engine's overheating. <laughs> oh, I'm getting minor hits here. And now what's he doing? Is he... Oh, we're in a big climb. Didn't notice that. And he's taking some of avoiding action, evasive action. So we might be able to catch up. Come here. Where's his friend? Whoa! There's my squadron. Right behind me. Yes, 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 yes. He's on fire. And he's bailing out. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, and now my, uh, I'm being attacked. Or maybe my. Uh... No, it's me. He's going for me. Jesus, Jesus. Hell. Oh, I'm stalling. Hell. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There. Let's see if we can climb after him. Confirmation there. Enemy aircraft destroyed. That's good. And, uh... This guy's flying away from me now. We are very high, we're at uh, 6,500 meters, which is 21,000 feet, which is pretty high. Maybe I should lower my fuel mixture. Don't have another supercharger position. And uh, where are we right now? Still quite near the airfield, that's good. This guy's diving away, so I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. I'm going to head back. We've killed one, we've protected the airfield. Um, I think that's pretty good going. To tell my squadron to rejoin. They are rejoining, that's good. And now it's time to head back down to Earth. No real major damage on my plane, I'm happy to say. Okay, well, uh, it's going to take a while to descend here, so I'll cut again and come back once we've uh, gone to a lower level, or if that nasty P-51 decides to come back for us. Okay, so I've now descended, I've ordered the squadron to return home, and it's time to land this mother, as they say.
Let's request a landing. And the airfield is just there, which is nice. Lower the flaps. Lower the gears. Meow. Okay, let's try and line up properly. Make sure we don't go too slowly. But uh, all the P-51 didn't show up, he decided to run away. So uh, that's good. You can hear my phone making some noise, so I apologize for that. Let me move that from Okay, and now to concentrate on this, see the landing strip, a little bit high, need to lose some altitude, so probably going a little bit fast as well. And now we should just be able to glide it home. Apart from, okay, no, we're good. A little bit of throttle just to make sure we don't stall. And not a perfect landing, but it's a landing. Let's uh, let some air in. Raise the flaps. And we're safe. We made it. First flight in this plane, and I'm still alive. Although, to be fair, there wasn't that much uh, competition, so can't be too pleased with myself. But nevertheless, it's a success. Engine off. Hooray! Okay, what else is going on? Kathleen is still flying around. P 51 is still flying around. Heading home. Or just patrolling, maybe. And this one is just about to. Maybe this is the one I I shot down because he was pretty high up when I shot him. But then again, it's not going to take a human that long to fall to the ground, and he only opens his parachute when he gets closer to, you know, to a lower altitude. So maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, that's that for that mission. Quit mission. Enemy aircraft kills are now 19. I have an award. I have a flask and sake cup. Hooray! The sake is on me tonight. Great. Okay, so total missions flown. I should now say 15. Um, so five more to go um, until the end of the campaign. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.